blessings to you, my brothers and sisters. Today, real quick, I want to share a story with you. I met this young girl out in the street, and we were doing outreach, and I heard, you know, I saw a vision for her, so I told her, you know, I saw her in a vehicle with two kids, and they were uh, traveling, and they were just having the best moments in their life um, and as I was telling her that she wept and there were other things that I uh, told her in the vision but that was the most prominent one that I can recall and as after she finished weeping I asked her you know does that resonate with you and she said I have two children um, she has two children and then she told me about the car um, situation and actually the two children was a girl and a boy and then I actually got show me their age as well so in that vision I told her how old they were and she just wept and she got her two kids taken away but in that vision uh, she was able to have them back and they're just traveling in her vision her dream is to travel travel with her kids and so she just wept because because God God met her in the street corner God knew her circumstances God showed up for her and there was hope he showed her there was hope that she can get her children back and yes and he can fulfill the dream that she has of traveling with her children so today I want to pray I want to pray and prophesy over you the same thing that God will give you the hope that God will meet you where you're at and he will show himself as the living God to you you know I recently came up uh, up a comment on somebody else's video and post not my own and they said wow you know all these people claiming that God speaks to them there must be thousands of them now um, but back in the Bible days there's only a few so how can this be I guess they'll be just judged by God and I want to talk to you about number one <laughs> God is a living God. He speaks. He speaks to us. Number two, He desires a relationship. What kind of relationship if our God is silent to us? So know that He speaks to you and know that we, we all hear Him differently. We all hear Him at different, you know, some of us receive images. Some of us hear Him. Some of us feel Him in a small, still voice. Some of us feel different things so but he speaks he's a living God and he desires a relationship with us so with that comment with the woman saying there must be thousands that's hearing from God all of us should be hearing from God all Christians everybody who desire relationship who had who is a Christian who confess Jesus as their Lord should be hearing from the Lord should be speaking to him should be praying and should expect a response from God so Expect a response from God right now, wherever you're at, whatever you've been praying for, Lord. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that you respond to your people and that you hear them. You hear them and you respond and you speak back. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for speaking back. And as I am seeking God for you to see what he wants to speak to you, I see a vehicle driving up a hill a, a hill it's like a really right it's really a rigid a with sharp very very sharp um, like mountaintop hill though but it's a hill and then you're just driving up and driving up and it's been slow the progress has been very slow and it's been jagged the um, there's just jagged turns jagged everything everything that you try to do and then your tires get blown at every turn and it's been frustrating it's been upsetting and you know that God wants you to go up to this destination you know that's where God has purpose for you in this chapter but it's been so hard to get up there there's just been so many obstacles so many obstacles and you are losing it you're losing your patient and you don't know why God would not remove these obstacles for you because you know where you're called you know where you're supposed to go but it just seems so hard seems so far and it seems impossible some days to get there and you don't understand you don't know why and then some days you just sit down and think okay Lord maybe this is why 
this is why you're preventing me to go up there. And then other days you're like, I don't know, I give up. I know this is where I'm supposed to go, but there's just no way I can make it. And what God wants you to look at is Him. He's with you. He's in that vehicle with you. He's directing it. He's guiding it. And as you're looking up to your destination, as you're focused on arriving at that destination so that you can reach and attain your purpose, God wants you to know that he's been in that vehicle with you and your purpose has always been in that vehicle with Jesus. And your purpose, every inch that you make, every inch that any every inch progress that you've done, is your purpose. Your purpose is in the present. It's in what you are doing right now. Your purpose is not waiting until you get to that mountaintop, waiting until you get to that destination. It is right now. It is right now. Every inch that you take and every obstacle that you have come across has been your purpose, have been what God wanted you to encounter, what God wanted to teach you, what God has helped you through and comfort you and guide you along the way. I thank you, Jesus, God, yes, that, your, that your purpose is now and here. Your purpose is not waiting, not waiting until next year when things calm down. It is not waiting until your bank account is cushioned enough to start your business. It's just in case your business fail, you have to you have a safety net. Your purpose is not waiting for retirement to help out the orphanage. Your purpose is not waiting it out until the time is perfect. Your perfect is your <laughs> your purpose is right now. Right now. I'm hearing Jesus. God has said, thank you, Lord, that your purpose is right now and he's in the vehicle with you. Even though you've seen all these obstacles Ooh, is preventing you from achieving what you have been ordained for, what you have been purposed for. It's not. What you have been in, what you've been encounter is your purpose. So grab a hold of that. Grab a hold of that and stop waiting. Stop waiting for that perfect relationship. Stop waiting for that perfect spouse. Stop waiting for you to have a child. Stop waiting for you to have enough money. Stop waiting until you're old enough. Stop waiting until... Stop waiting. Stop waiting. As your purpose is now. So this is for somebody today. Know that your purpose, God is not waste. Waste your time. God does not waste your energy. God does not waste breath. So as long as you have breath, as long as you have, as long as you woke up and can breathe, God can use you. God is using you in that purpose. So it is up to you to see it and grab a hold of it. It's up to you to see it and grab a hold of it, to what God is revealing to you right now. I thank you, Jesus, that every person watching right now is not watching it by accident, but it's ordained by you because every moment, every time they take a breath, there is a purpose. They have a purpose ordained by you, God. They don't have to wait. They don't have to reach that destination to attain their purpose. Their purpose is right now. So I thank you, Jesus, that you reveal yourself, that you penetrate this word in their spirit so that they know. They know it's for them, and it's your truth and what you want them to hear. And it is still hope, mighty injection of hope in them that you're not wasting anybody's time. You're not wasting their time. You're not wasting all these years while they're waiting to climb up to this destination that they think they're supposed to be in. All these years, all these things that you've done, God is revealing that is your purpose. So grab a hold of it. What are you going to do now that you know that God is in the vehicle with you? Jesus is riding with you in the vehicle. Or maybe let him drive the vehicle. That was my commentary. Maybe let him drive it so that you don't have to worry about blown tires and everything because he can navigate it for you better than you can. And he can drive better than we can. But now that you know, now that you know that God is in the vehicle with you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do with the purpose that he has for you today, right now? And it's not waiting. It's not waiting until you get to the mountaintop. It's not waiting. So we thank you. We thank you, Jesus, that your people, that your people are, are fired up, God, right now, that your people know that they, they are called right now, not tomorrow, not when they get that cushy bank account, not when they grow up to a certain age, not when things, the storm is all settled and calm, but right now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. 
Thank you. God bless you. I love you. Of course, Jesus even loves you more. Subscribe, like, and comment so that this will reach many, many for Jesus. Thank you.